So I wanted to show you guys an alternative method to transferring the load. If you don't have a cordelette or a quad link sling, then you can always use the back side of the clove hitch that you're using as your personal tether. So you could use this for any of the methods that we uh, need to use the skill of transferring the load. So you could use it for escaping the belay, passing the knot, or rigging from above to do a counterbalanced rappel. So any of those, you can definitely use the backside of your float. So if I don't have a long enough piece of material, but I do have a shorter sling, uh, whether it's this uh, sterling hollow block, maybe I have that as my shorter sling, or maybe I have an alpine draw and I can use that. And all I would do is I would attach a carabiner to that and I would use the back side of my clove to tie a monster mule overhand directly to that carabiner to then capture that load. Okay. Cool. So, I don't know if you can kind of see what I did there. Um, just to distinguish, this is my personal tether here, right? This is the original belay mode that I've backed up with a uh, catastrophe knot so to make it hands free. And then I've just captured the load with a sling and a munch mule overhand on the back side of my personal clove. And I'm going to go ahead and lock that. Great. So then um, I can cat knot out as long as I agree to maintain my hand on that break strand and I can ratchet this out until it's loose and now um, the load is being captured by this mantra mule overhand and from here I can do whatever I need to do depending on what my goal is whether it's passing a knot escaping the belay or rigging for a counterbalanced repel from above.